Hey guys, this is question three um, from the May 2018 LXL AS maths paper. So for this question, we've got um, 2D vectors. We've got the point A with position vector 4i minus 5j, and we have the point B with position vector minus 5i minus 2j. So for part A, we have to find the vector AB. So one way we can do this would be to draw a diagram, but to save time, I'm just going to do it like straight away. To find the vector AB, this is just simply the vector B minus the vector A, or it's minus A plus B. So that's going to be minus 5i minus 2j minus, we'll put it all in a bracket, 4i minus 5j. So be very careful with your signs here, it can be really easy to trip up with this. So that's going to give me AB. Sorry, guys, my writing is really bad. AB, well, minus 5i, minus 4i, that's going to give me minus 9i. So that's the i component. And then my j component is going to be minus 2, minus, minus 5. So that's going to be minus 2, plus 5. So that's going to give me plus 3j. So that's part A done for two marks. And then for part B, we have to find the mod or the absolute value of the vector AB. So this is all we're doing here is finding the length of this vector AB. Now remember when we're finding the length of a vector we are just doing Pythagoras um, to work out that length. So I'm going to apply Pythagoras' theorem to this here. So the absolute AB that's just going to be equal to the square root and, and well not obviously but this is a good indicator of what you're aiming for a simplified third so to give you a clue if you forget what you're looking for that's a good hint that you've got to do the square root so you're applying Pythagoras <coughs> so I'm going to do 9 squared 9 squared uh, plus 3 squared so that's going to be plus 3 squared so let's simplify that 9 squared is 81 that's the square root of 81 plus 9 that's going to be the square root of 90 <clears throat> now we need to give this as a simplified third so you've got to think about how we can simplify this third expression here so root 90 well one way I can see we could write this would be root 9 times root 10 that would give me root 90 and then simplify the root 9 root 9 is just 3 so my final answer root 10 and there you go that's the full format for a and b and hopefully that's easy enough to see if the videos help you guys please do subscribe and check out the other videos for this exam paper